I'm glad you're still with us here on Colorado and Company. I'm Denise Plant. Now it's time to see renowned psychic medium Deb Shepard in action. Let's go live to one of our favorite neighborhood haunts, pun intended, of course. It's the Rosebud Cafe. And Deb is there with our own skeptic, Karen Rosnick, and Channel 9 staffer Skylar. How's the energy at the Rosebud Cafe going this morning, Karen? Well, Denise, there are spirits here apparently. So Deb was kind of channeling some things. Now, as you mentioned, I am the resident psychic skeptic, <laughs> but that's okay. Deb says that she's fine with that. I've also got Skylar here, Nine News staffer. So Deb, first of all, yes. I am the skeptic, but I'm gonna ask you, how do spirits communicate with you? Well, we're all very sensitive, and so their energy comes through. So I'm an empath, which means, first of all, I feel older, younger, male or female. And then I've built a language to be able to communicate. So I can taste alcohol, smell cigarettes. I can tell in their body where they may have been injured or were sick. So, so this is all very fascinating, but how did you realize that you had this ability? When did it become apparent? Um, probably in my early 40s, and I'm 29, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just going through a life change and really wanted to look for other answers. And so I went on a spiritual path and found these energies around me. And I just started reading books about it. And I was like, oh, OK. So, so you felt that you, it wasn't something that you necessarily saw knew right it. off the bat. No, I didn't even know what it was. Wow. And I just, I could feel them. But I didn't, like, kind of like with you, I didn't believe it could happen. Yeah. <clears throat> I've had a lot of people die in my life, but it wasn't something I searched for. And I think that's why I'm very peaceful with it. Because people ask if I'm scared. I say, I'm scared of the living, not the deceased. <laughs> <laughs> so you wrote a book called From Grieving to Believing. Yes. Um, and it's an Amazon best-selling book. People have read it all over the world. 11 countries. Ooh, what? No, number six. What people learn from the book? Um, a couple of things. It talks about mental illness, which this month is a mental illness month. Um, and so it's about suicide, it's about people crossing over, it's about how I became a medium, so it's that story, how to tune into their own loved ones, and then the second half of the book is a lot about how do you deal with grief, and then how do you connect with your own loved ones, because I'd rather you connect with them. I'm just, I'm just here to show you that it's possible. Okay. All right, and finally, you're hosting events throughout the year. You have one coming up on June 28th yes. on spiritual messages. So what do you have planned for that workshop? Well, the first night, on Friday night, um, I'm doing readings to an audience, and then the next two is a workshop about finding your authentic self, letting go of your fears, you know, understanding them, and how to live with passion in your life. All right, so. well... Very fascinating. Now, how, yes. people, how can people attend a workshop? Just go to my website, which is DebShepherd.com. Deb so. Shepherd, two Ps. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right. And now I want to get to the real good stuff yes. here because I, I'm feeling <laughs> a little nervous. I am skeptical, but... So what do you feel here? Are the spirits sharing anything with you? Yes, I'm getting actually several people around both of you. So, um, and I feel like there's a couple similarities in some of your losses, so I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm getting a male in your generation that's passed. Does that make sense? Was there a male in your, that's around your age group that died? I'm not, I'm not sure. Who, who's the one that suicided or went through a really hard time? I'm not feeling anything. I wonder if it's his. Do you have someone your generation passed? That's what I can think of. Okay, so he's here. We'll figure out who he is. We also got earlier your grandmother that had passed, right? And you've had both of them. I'm getting one that's very strong-minded. She has a um, a lot of opinions about things. I feel like she's the matriarch as well. Yeah. She tell, tells me that she got very sick before she passed. Does that make sense too? Yeah. And I feel like she was a real fighter, but she didn't complain. But I'm getting that. It was kind of difficult to take care of her near the end, so I feel like she's kind of apologizing for who had to take care of her, what she kind of went through. My heart hurts and lungs hurt with her too. Does that make sense? Um, I think so. I okay. Do you know how she died? Um, I think she had a brain tumor. Okay, because I feel like yeah, my whole body shuts down, and I'm feeling like maybe she had heart or lung issues before her death as well. There's that might. Go ahead. That that might be my other. Grandmother? My other grandmother died from lung cancer. Okay, so they may both come through at the same time, so it might be two different, you know, p people coming through. There's also, is there a father figure past? Father, father, and uncle? No, not, not on my end. There's no, is there a father figure for you? No, um, I was really, really close with my grandfather. Uh, was he like a father figure for you, too? Um, kind of. Okay. I, I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. He says that he was good with his hands, so I'm assuming that he was able to fix things and things like that. Was he just really smart as well? 
Did you know him well? I did know him well. Because I feel like he wants to, he's, wants to be smart. He wants to look at things and get to know things. Um, who do you want to hear from? Let's go there. My grandfather, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Okay. Was it this? Is this the one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we talked a little bit earlier, about 12:30 last night uh, or this morning, um, a shelf broke in the uh, laundry room and all our vases broke. And you said that that is maybe is that your grandpa that you think it might be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When he passed away. Um, the when I when I went home I guess to the their family house for the funeral um, that night before the funeral the ceiling fell um, all around me unbelievable in the okay so we think that grandpa owes me some vases right yeah okay, okay. <laughs> and um, also you've had dogs in your life to her animals because I feel yeah. like you've got a lot of babies was there one that died pretty young it was that it didn't live a full age like I I had um, a fair, a fair amount of, of little pets. That's, that's but okay, because I'm getting that they didn't live a long time and small. Mm -hmm. Also for you, you, you have a grandmother too. Yeah. Okay. And she's also, what's her name? Mary. Okay, I should have said it because I got married. I feel like she was also very um, solid is what I'm kind of yeah. getting to. And I feel like maybe her childhood wasn't as easy, but she worked really hard to become the person she became. I feel like appearance was really important. Like, you got to look good. And I feel like, did she always have to have her lipstick on before she went out or always have to try to look okay, appropriate? Okay, so full disclosure, both my grandmothers were married. <laughs> okay. And one did always wear lipstick and she was the Ukrainian grandmother, very solid. Solid, yeah. And, uh, well, She's talking about you mentioned food. Uh, suicide. So my grandfather passed away from suicide. Okay, then that's your because I kept getting this older. I kept getting and this man. And I didn't man. know him. Okay, it's okay. But he, yeah, he suicided. So I kept getting a suicide, but I thought it was someone your generation. So was he young when this happened? He was uh, fairly young. Okay, because yeah. I feel like this is a younger soul, not an older soul, and. Um, I feel like your grandma probably didn't talk about it much or they didn't really discuss it. It was sort of like we we hide it underneath, you know, yeah. the, the, the rug. This is very fascinating, Deb, <laughs> but we have to cut it out okay. now. But we're going to continue the reading here. Yeah. And uh, maybe, you know, get on Facebook and see what we come up with. But, Deb, thank you so thank much you, for ladies. reading. Thank you, ladies. And I think I'm gone from skeptic to believer. <laughs> this is amazing. Or closer. Closer, yeah. <laughs> definitely. I told you, Karen, Deb Shepard is offering a Mother's Day special, 25% off a private reading of your choice, either the half hour or full hour reading. Learn more about Deb Shepard's events and workshops or to book a private reading, go to DebShepard.com. Deb's book, Grieving to Believing, is available right now on Amazon. Stay with us. We'll be right back.